Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover the second module of the first learning path, which is Explore Endpoint Management. And the module is Manage Azure Active Directory, today known as Entra ID Identities. Module 2, Manage Microsoft Entra Identities, where I will discuss about the role-based access control creating and managing these identities like users or the groups through the portal or the command line tools like Microsoft PowerShell Graph module. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. The module covers examine role-based access control and user roles in Microsoft Entra, create and manage users in Microsoft Entra, create and manage groups in Microsoft Entra, manage Microsoft Entra ID objects with PowerShell, and finally, synchronizing the objects from Active Directory domain services and on-premises to Microsoft Entra Identity Directory service. Well, when it comes to the role-based access control, this is a very important function in uh, any technology or application where we do the delegation of control to delegate the access to others. Well, this is done in the enterprises where we have different teams working on different roles or they have different limited set of uh, standard operating procedures to follow. We do this delegation of control. Delegation model within the Microsoft Entra tenant we do at several predefined Microsoft Entra roles. It is advised to use these built-in roles wherever possible, but if you are using premium directory, you can create your own custom roles as well. Be careful while creating your custom roles so that you do not end up giving unnecessary permissions to the users. Permissions based on users or can be assigned to the groups or the applications. Applications registered on your directory having a service principle, you can assign the permissions to them. Ideally, it is done at the group level because the user's role may change in future. We want the dynamic environment where the user's group membership is changed, then the permissions also automatically updated. So it is advised to do it at the group level. Assigned applications automatically accessible via access panel. Next is delegation model within the Microsoft Entra subscription. We do the role-based access control RBAC using the Microsoft Entra principles. These security principles can be the identities like users or the uh, service principles, managed identities, or can be the devices. Roles assigned on the resource, resource group, or the subscription level inside the Microsoft Azure subscriptions. In case you have the Azure subscriptions associated with your tenant, you can delegate the control at the different levels, be it at the resource level, the most granular one, or resource group, or the subscription level. I have covered the Azure RBAC in a separate video of AZ104, or there is a dedicated video on RBAC in Azure. I recommend you to visit that video for more details. User roles in Microsoft Entra can be the most privileged account global administrator, which has the power of doing anything in the Entra ID. Whereas we have limited administrator roles that we can assign to the uh, limited admin permissions to the users. User role where the user is not granted any delegation of control or permissions, but have the licenses to consume the cloud applications. This user is also referred as a standard user account. Next is create and manage users in Microsoft Entra. When we create these users in Entra ID, we can create them as either the member of the directory, which is the native user of that directory and is assigned the privileged roles. Whereas if you want to provide the limited access to these users, then we can add them as a guest. The user type can be a guest. Both members or guests can be either internal or external. So we can have internal members or internal guests or external members and external guests. I have covered this in managing identities in a separate video, but for your information, the 
internal members means they are full-time employees of your company and have full-fledged access in your environment the privileged roles can be assigned to them whereas the internal guests are the new joinees of your company be it interns or some employees that are not yet permanent in your organization so you want to provide them the limited access so you can make them as internal member in your directory but as a guest whereas external people can be invited as a guest which is a true guest and the external people can also be invited as a member to your directory which is for providing them the privileged roles to support you in your projects there are two ways to create and manage these users as a cloud identity you can create them within the entra if you are a cloud born company or you can synchronize them from your on premises that is for a hybrid setup where you can synchronize these identities like users groups or the devices to entra id create and manage groups in microsoft entra we create the groups to make the users member of these groups to ease the assignment of the roles and permissions these groups can be security groups where we use them to assign the permissions as the name suggests whereas mail enabled security groups have the email mailbox as well for this group distribution is just a distribution list of the users the email sent or distributed to this distribution group is distributed to the entire group office 365 groups so the distribution and office 365 groups are primarily used for collaboration purpose whereas security groups are used for security assignment membership for a cloud based group can be assigned or dynamic if you are using the premium directory tier p1 or p2 then you can have the directory uh, dynamic assignment of the users as well when we say assigned members then we decide that which user will be member of which group that is a uh, manual assignment of the users to a group whereas in dynamic we can provide a uh, condition where if this expression meets certain criteria like the users attributes be it department city country if the user meets that criteria then user will be member of a particular group so such sort of expressions we can put and it will evaluate those expressions and whichever the user meets that criteria will be assigned to that group dynamically this helps in dynamic group membership of the users when their attributes are changed like they relocate to a different city or their department is changed so they get the necessary group membership based on the attributes dynamic membership where you can select whether it's for users or for the devices depending on the attributes of each kind of identity for devices it can be the operating system platform or the architecture groups from on premises active directory with dynamic memberships to synchronize with azure active directory or entra id to manage these identities like the users group service principles we can use the powershell commandlets we had the powershell module called azure ad earlier today we have the powershell graph module that we use and we add the ms online module also for microsoft 365 to manage the entra id you can either use the entra id module which is powershell graph or you can use the ms online module commonly used commands are for the users groups device management etc in the upcoming uh, video you will be seeing the management of these identities and uh, also synchronizing the identities from on premises to the entra id when we have our on premises directory we want to ease the management of the identities from one single place so we put an entra id connect tool or the cloud sync tool entra cloud sync a lightweight tool and we synchronize these identities from on premises to the microsoft entra id in this way the users get access easily to the cloud applications and on premises using a single account we can either go with same sign on or single sign on be it password as synchronization we can go with or the federation whereas the users or for administrators it also becomes easier to manage these identities this module covers the lab on managing the identities in azure active directory and synchronizing the identities 
by using the Microsoft Azure Entra ID Connect, formerly known as Azure ID Connect or Directory Sync tool. Entra ID Connect is the successor of uh, Azure ID Connect, though we have got the Entra Cloud Sync tool as well, which is the latest and recommended to be used for current or future deployments because that's going to be the future of this hybrid identity setup. The video, next video, will cover this Entra ID Connect to synchronize the identities as well. This is the recap of this learning path. In the previous video of this, I covered understanding the Microsoft Entra ID. And in this video, I discussed about manage Microsoft Entra identities. For the demonstration of the management of these identities and hybrid synchronization, please do watch the next video in this series. I hope this tutorial was informative to you. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe it for latest updates on my videos. Thank you.